Walk, rebel scum. Okay, good grief, I'm walking already. Admiral will be most pleased with us now that we have the prisoner. Do not let him escape at any cost. Yes, sir. Do not let the prisoner escape, or it could cost you your lives. Okay. What did I ever do to deserve this? Ugh. I wish I could get these handcuffs off of me. Never see anyone. My parents, my friends, no one ever again. Ezra, these are your first steps. Who said that? I am a Jedi. A Jedi? I thought those were a legend. No, they're not. And you're hearing one in your head. More like my conscience. Show yourself. If you're truly a Jedi, I will in time. Okay, Jedi. Conscience. Person. Thing. What's happening to me? You're having a vision. And it serves a purpose. Uh, okay. I'm glad you're telling me that I'm having a vision because everything around me seems to be going oddly weird colors. That is for a purpose. What if I told you that I'm Jedi training you? Training me? You're Jedi training me. Yes. The only way you're going to get out of here is if you trust in the Force. And then the Force will be with you. Whatever. You don't believe me. Turn around. Okay. I will turn around. And what will I see if I do? A wise old man. You fell down like you just seen a ghost. Well... The way I see it, from my point of view, you look like a ghost. And are you actually standing right in front of me? No. I'm talking to you for the Force on another planet. You're, you're, you're the guy who taught the, 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 the Darth Vader. Yes, Obi-Wan Kenobi, at your service. Uh, what are you doing here, and why are you talking to me? I'm talking to you so I can guide you in the right direction, young Bridger. Huh, I can get out of here. How are you going to do that? Are you going to take the simple way out? Because you're a Padawan. And just cut your way out with a lightsaber. Or are you going to physically use the Force? I was gonna use the lightsaber, but since I'm talking to a wise old man from another planet, I guess I'm gonna use the force. You definitely have some different Jedi robes on than I thought you would. Well, I did the best I could for Jedi robes. You know, because they're not always easy to get sometimes. Enough jokes. Let's get serious. How are you going to plan on getting out of here? <sighs> Old man, I'm basically accepted that I'm trapped in here. That I'm not meant to be a Jedi. They captured me. If I was meant to be a Jedi, I wouldn't be in this situation because I would have just killed all them right on the spot. You look like you're about to get your lightsaber out. I kind of want to, old man. Call me Obi-Wan. Okay, Obi-Wan. Just leave me alone. Okay, fine. Maybe this is truly a test. Maybe if I leave you alone, you'll realize that you're being arrogant and you won't be able to get out of here. Okay, I must have been having a dream. He's actually gone. Huh. What a joke. I am back. Please, Ezra. You have to get out of here. You do not know what is at stake. Huh. My life is at stake if I try to 
get out of here, so I might as well just stay. You are more powerful than you think. When you discover your power, you'll be grateful that you listen to me. Because the Force is strong within you. I sense it as I do in Vader's son. The Force is strong in you, he says. I sense it like I do in Vader's son, he says. Huh. This is a bunch of baloney. I could easily take them out with little training that I have. Why do I need to listen to a crazy old man that's a Jedi? Because this crazy old man can save your life. Okay, fine. If you're so wanting me to have these crazy visions and listen to you, and you won't leave me alone until I do, then I will listen to you. So what do I do, Obi-Wan? That's Master Obi-Wan Kenobi to you. Alright, I'm focusing. Good. You're doing good, Ezra. You're doing very good. Just keep focusing. Focus on the door. Alright. You are right. Well, at least you admitted it. <laughs> Keep focusing. Dude, did you just see that door move? I think you're seeing things, dude. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I am seeing things. A door moving by itself. Ha <laughs> ha. That's crazy. Grand Admiral? Yes. We have the prisoner. I'm glad to report the prisoner is under high security. So, even if he tried to test his powers, he wouldn't get very far. He would have to have extremely good help. Keep him that way. Make sure he doesn't have any help. I'm glad that you were able to capture him, Trooper. Uh, what in the world? Uh, uh. What happened? You! You escaped! How? What? You're surprised to see me, aren't you? Well, I don't think you are, with that look on your face. <laughs> You don't look very happy. Well, I'm not a Padawan. I'm an actual Jedi. I just told you that to trick you. Give me everything you got, Ron. I can take anything. You call yourself a Grand Admiral. Well, it looks like you'd have a better army if you're a Grand Admiral. They should totally demote you for having such a bad army. You idiots, get him before he gets away! Now! Sorry, but I have to go now. See you later. No! Jedi scum! that Kanan is how I defeated all of them and escaped Admiral Fraun. That is quite the story. And you also had help from Master Obi-Wan. Alright, it's time for a little Jedi training. Oh, do I have to? Yes. It's important. Okay. <laughs> Hey you guys, wait, I know that voice, I hate to disturb you. Obi-Wan, you're here, for real, and I'm certain that you're not a vision, 
because I don't see multiple colors around me. Yes, I'm actually here this time, Ezra. As we speak, Admiral Fraun is on his way to Jeddah to get some kyber crystals for whatever the Empire is going to use them for. So, they're going to use crystals that are used to create lightsabers for something important? The worst thing is Vader's hired him to do so. Vader? Yes. You must go there, get a supply of kyber crystals, and bring them back here. Alright, let's go. We can go to the Phantom. It has a storage unit in the back, and we can get the crystals and leave. Let's go!